Hi, this video is here to help you with plotting coordinates on a grid. Let's take a look at how to do this in a bit more detail. Take a look at this grid. What do you notice about it? It has a vertical axis that runs from the bottom to the top, as well as a horizontal axis that runs from left to right. Do you know another name for these axes? The vertical axis is called the Y axis. The horizontal axis is the X axis. To help you remember the difference between the axes, remember this phrase. The x-axis goes across because it's across, and the y goes to the sky. Why do you think the x-axis and the y-axis are numbered? That's right, the numbers are used to help plot points on the grid. For example, to find the coordinates of this point on the grid, we would firstly look along the x-axis. We can see that the point is in line with 5 on the x-axis. We then look at the y-axis. We can see that the point is in line with the 3 on the y-axis. So the point marked on this grid is found at 5, 3. Remember that when you're reading coordinates, you always use the numbers on the x-axis first, followed by the y-axis. When we're writing coordinates, we always separate the numbers used in the coordinates with a comma and place them in brackets. Where would we plot the coordinates 3, 5 on the grid? We need to find 3 on the x-axis first, and then 5 on the y-axis. And then we can mark the point with a dot to show its position on the grid. Where would we plot the coordinates 2, 0 on the grid? We need to find 2 on the x-axis first. Because the y-axis coordinate is 0, we do not need to move up the y-axis beyond 0. And we can plot our point right here on the axis itself. Now it's your turn. Work out the coordinates for each of the points shown on this coordinates grid. Pause the video now and press play when you've finished. How did you get on? Let's take a look at the answers. The coordinates for the black point were 6, 8. For the green point were 0, 6, for the blue point were 9, 2, and for the red point were 4, 3. Well done if you got all of those correct. So far we've looked at the first quadrant of a coordinates grid. Now let's look at a coordinates grid that has four quadrants. As you can see, there is the first quadrant, which is the one we've looked at so far, the second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. How is this grid different to the one that we've just been looking at? What do you notice about the numbers on the axes? The x and y axes have both been extended through zero into negative numbers. Where else have you seen numbers written like this vertically? It may remind you of a thermometer, like this one. When we're describing numbers on a thermometer, we would say minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. However, when we're given coordinates on a coordinates grid, we would say negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Look at the y-axis on our grid. It goes from 0 to 5 when we move in this direction, and from 0 to negative 5 when we move in this direction. The x-axis works in the same way and is similar to a horizontal number line. It goes from 0 to 5 when we move in this direction, and from 0 to negative 5 when we move in this direction. If we wanted to find the coordinates of this point on the grid, we would firstly look along the x-axis. We need to look to the left of 0, which is where the negative numbers on the x-axis lie. The point is in line with negative 3 on the x-axis. We then look at the y-axis, and when we look up the y-axis, we can see that the point is in line with the 2 on the y-axis. So the point marked on this grid is found at negative 3, 2. What are the coordinates of this point on the grid? Once again, we need to find the coordinate where the point lies on the x-axis first. It's to the left of 0 and is located at negative 4 on the x-axis. To find where the point lies on the y-axis, this time we need to look down the y-axis into the negative part of the axis. We can see that the point is in line with negative 3. The coordinates of this point are negative 4, negative 3. Where would we plot the coordinates 5, negative 1 on the grid? The coordinate 5 is on the x-axis, to the right of the 0. The coordinate negative 1 is below 0 on the y-axis, 
and is located here. Now it's your turn. Give the coordinates of each of these points found on the coordinates grid. Remember that when you are given coordinates in four quadrants, we still need to remember to give the number on the x-axis first, followed by the number on the y-axis. Pause the video now and have a go. Let's take a look at the answers. The coordinates of the black point were 0, 4. Of the green point were negative 2, 3. Of the blue point were 1, negative 2. And of the red point were negative 5, negative 4. I think that you're ready for a challenge now. Zeke says that the coordinates of the red point are negative 3, negative 1. Emily says it's not possible to give any coordinates for the blue point. Do you agree or disagree with the statements made by Zeke and Emily? Remember to give a reason for your answers. Pause the video now and have a go. Well done. Let's take a look at the answers. Zeke is incorrect. The coordinates of the red point are negative 1, negative 3, because we always write the x coordinate first, followed by the y coordinate. Emily is also incorrect, as the coordinates of the blue point are 0, 0, as it is located on 0 on the x axis and 0 on the y axis. When describing coordinates, we call this point on a coordinates grid the origin. Thanks for watching. For more math support, check out our other maths concept videos available on the Twinkle website. Hi, this video is here to help you with finding missing coordinates. Let's take a look at what we might already know to help us with this. On a coordinate grid, the vertical axis is called the y axis and the horizontal axis is called the x axis. To help you remember the difference between the axes, remember this phrase. The X goes across because it is across, and the Y goes to the sky. When you read coordinates, you use the numbers on the X axis first, followed by the numbers on the Y axis. For example, this point is located at 6, 7. Look at this set of coordinates. These are the coordinates for three of the vertices of a square. The fourth vertex is missing. If we plot these coordinates and join the points together, you can see two of the sides of the square. What do you think the coordinates are for the point that's missing? One thing we know about squares is that all their sides are of equal length. So if we complete our square by drawing in the remaining lines, it will look like this. Can you see how each of the points forms one of the vertices of the square? Where will the missing point be for the final vertex of the square? The missing point will be here at 8, 7. Now we'll look at shapes with missing coordinates on a grid with four quadrants. Remember, in this type of grid, we have not only the first quadrant, but also the second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. On this four quadrant grid, I have plotted three vertices of a rectangle. What are the coordinates for each point? The coordinate in the first quadrant is 3, 1. The second quadrant of the grid has the coordinate negative 3, 1. The fourth quadrant of the grid has the coordinate 3, negative 2. If we join the points together, you can see two of the sides of the rectangle. What do you think the coordinates are for the point that's missing? If we remember that rectangles have equal opposite sides, we can complete our rectangle by drawing in the remaining lines. Where is the missing point that forms the final vertex of the rectangle? The missing point will be here at negative 3, negative 2. Now it's your turn. Can you find the missing coordinate for this shape? I'm drawing a parallelogram on this coordinate grid. I have drawn three of the points I need. Can you find the missing coordinate for the fourth vertex so I can complete the shape? Top tip, remember that a parallelogram has opposite sides which are equal and parallel. Pause the video now and have a go. All finished? The answer is three, negative one. Well done if you got that right. Now let's look at how we find missing coordinates on a different type of coordinate grid.
what do you notice that's the same and what's different about this type of grid and the ones we've already looked at? This coordinates grid doesn't have any grid lines or numbers, although it does still have both an x-axis and a y-axis. We can also see that there is only one quadrant shown. As there are no grid lines or numbers, when we find missing coordinates on a grid like this, we need to have other points labelled on the grid to help us. In this example, we can see that there are two points shown on the grid, a red point and a purple point. The purple point has coordinates of 7, 3. How could we find the coordinates of the red point? Look carefully at the points. What do you notice about their positions on the grid? That's right, if we look along the x-axis, we can see that the points are in line with each other. This means that both points share the same coordinate on the x-axis, as they are the same distance along the x-axis. What's the x-axis coordinate of the purple point? That's right, it's 7, which means our red point will also have an x-axis coordinate of 7. Let's now reveal the position of another label point on the grid. This green point has coordinates of 4, 6. If we look up the y-axis, we can see that the green and red points are now in line with each other on the y-axis. This means that both points share the same coordinates on the y-axis, as they are the same distance up the y-axis. What's the y-axis coordinate of the green point? The y-axis coordinate is 6, which means our red point will also have a y-axis coordinate of 6. If the three points that we've plotted make the three vertices of a square, can you work out what the coordinates of the fourth vertex of the square would be? How could we use the information given on the grid to work out the coordinates of the fourth vertex? We can see that the black point is as far along the x-axis as the green point, which means it has an x-axis coordinate of 4. And the black point is as far up the y-axis as the purple point, which means it will share the same y-axis coordinate as the purple point, which is 3. So the coordinates of the fourth vertex of the square are 4, 3. Now let's see if we can work out missing coordinates on an unlabeled four-quadrant grid, like this. This grid is similar to the previous grid, but now instead of only one quadrant, we can have coordinates in all four quadrants. If I draw a straight horizontal line between the red point and the black point on the grid, can you work out the missing coordinate for the red point? The black point is further to the right of the x-axis than the red point, so the x-axis coordinates are different. However, both points are the same distance down the y-axis. This means they both share the same y-axis coordinate of negative 6. So the missing coordinate is negative 6. If I draw a straight vertical line between the blue point and the green point on the grid, how can we work out the missing coordinate for the green point? The green point is further up the y-axis than the blue point, so the y-axis coordinates are different. However, both points are the same distance across the x-axis. This means they both share the same x-axis coordinate of negative 10. So the missing coordinate is negative 10. Now it's your turn to have a go. Take a look at this question. Anisha draws a rectangle on this grid. What are the missing coordinates of the purple and green points on the vertices of the shape? Pause the video now and have a go. Well done, let's take a look at the answers. Here are the answers. The purple point is negative 1, 2, and the green point is 13, negative 6. Well done if you got those right. I think that you're ready for a challenge now. This orange point is located exactly halfway along the horizontal line of the rectangle. What are its coordinates? Explain how you worked it out. Pause the video now and have a go. Did you get it right? The coordinates of the orange point are 6, 2. In order to work this out, we can firstly see that the y-axis coordinates of the orange point will be the same as the purple and black points, as they are all the same distance up the y-axis. 
In order to work out the x-axis coordinate of the orange point, we can use the fact that the orange point is exactly halfway along the horizontal line of the rectangle to help us. The orange point is exactly halfway between the purple point and the black point on the x-axis. How can we use this fact to help us work out the x-axis value of the orange point? Well, the purple point is negative 1 along the x-axis and the black point is 13 along the x-axis. We firstly need to find what the difference is between these points on the x-axis. The difference between negative 1 and 13 is 14. If we divide this difference of 14 by 2, we find that it equals 7. So we know that the orange coordinate is 7 more along the x-axis than the purple point and 7 less than the black point on the x-axis. Let's work out how much further the orange point is from the purple point to find our final answer. If we add 7 to the negative 1 x-axis coordinate of the purple point, we will find negative 1 add 7 equals 6. So we have an x-axis coordinate of 6 for the orange point. The coordinate halfway between the purple and black points on the x-axis is 6. Thanks for watching. For more math support, check out our other math concept videos available on the Twinkle website.